hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a foundation routine I meant to make this video about a month ago or so but I had to leave the country last minute and I had no time to film any videos so that's why it's coming on this late but um, I do have another video coming up for you which is the highlight and contour I didn't include it in this video because I don't want this video to be super long but I will include it in another video for you so for my foundation I like to use a few products I'm gonna mention the high-end products that I use for foundation and concealer and also the drugstore products that I use as well um, so we're gonna start off with a moisturized face and for that I'm going to use my Cetaphil moisturizer this is a travel size and I'm just gonna apply it all over my face and you want to pat it into your skin Now that that's done, the next step in my routine is also to prime my face. And for that, I like to use a few uh, primers. I'm just going to mention them really quickly. One of them is the Too Faced um, Primed and Poreless Foundation Primer. This one is good for pores, which I do have in this area here. I have this one from NYX, which is more inexpensive. This is the Photo Loving Primer. It looks like that. You can find this at any CVS or Ricky's NYC or even on the NYX website. The next one is by Smashbox. This is also a photo finish pore minimizing. I tend to have more pore minimizing primers just because I have a lot of pores in this section. Also, I like um, more a silicone based because it makes the foundation glide on a lot easier. And last but not least, I have the Tarte Clean Slate Primer. This one is great. It holds um, for a very long time. It's waterproof and it's pore refining, line filling. This, all these that I um, mentioned right here, I totally recommend. I will be doing a primer slash base um, information kind of video soon so just look out for that if you want to know more about these but um, for primers. today I'm going to be using the primed and poreless by Too Faced this one is really good if you have large pores and I do have large pores like around this area here so I'm just going to take a dot on my finger like about that much and I'm going to apply it in the areas where I have really large pores and I'm gonna press it in I'm not gonna swipe it you wanna always press in your um, foundation your primers your moisturizers because you want it to really get into the skin So now after we have our primer on, what I like to use for foundation is usually a beauty blender. Mine looks a little dirty already because I've used this so many times. Or I go for a flat top kabuki brush. This one's from BH Cosmetics. You can find a beauty blender anywhere um, now because they sell them everywhere now. But the BH Cosmetics, you will have to get it on the website. I'll leave a link down below as to where you can find it. But for today, I will be using my Beauty Blender because I feel like it blends out the foundation beautifully. And doesn't leave any streaks, any marks, anything heavy. If you want to just even it out. Ooh. <laughs> if you want to just even it out, a Beauty Blender is the way to go. Now, as for foundation... Like I said, I have high-end and also drugstore products. Um, these are the three drugstore foundations that I really like. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. I'm in the shade 857. This is the L'Oreal True Match. This is a great drugstore foundation for any kind of skin. I'm in the shade W6, which is Sun Beige. 
and for today I'm going to be using my infallible pro matte foundation this is great for someone who has oily skin and also for anybody who wants a medium to full coverage I do recommend this a lot um, this is the infallible pro matte by L'Oreal these are my top three drugstore foundations but for today I'm will be using the pro matte now what I like to do is I like to use some of this matte finish spray by NYX and I'm going to dampen my beauty blender with it. I'm going to take some of the foundation and I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. And I only use about this much. Now I'm going to just take my hair and put it to the back just so that I don't get any foundation on my hair. And excuse the face. I've been like breaking out so bad lately. Like this area over here is just ridiculous so excuse that but anyway I'm gonna take some of the foundation on the back of my hand and just dot it all over my face now I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and just pounce it out on my skin okay that looks pretty much done now after I apply my foundation I like to do my brows but for the sake of this video I didn't want this video to be too long so I filled in my brows before I apply my foundation you could do whatever you like I like to do mine after my foundation but for this video I just did it before now I already showed you the three drugstore um, foundations that I use the two high-end foundations that I use that I forgot to mention is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. I'm in the shade Medium Honey and this one is very long wearing. It's great for people with oily skin and it's medium to full coverage. It lasts 12 hours. I've used it for more than 8 hours and it stayed beautifully on my skin. So this one is a really good one. Another one that I do like is the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation. This one is really thick like I've mentioned in other videos but I do really like it because it's very mattifying. It's great for oily skin and it has good coverage. So, so these two are my favorite high-end foundations. Now for concealer, I like to use... There's two drugstore concealers that I really like. One of them is the Maybelline Fit Me which looks like this I'm in the shade medium which is 25 and then the other one is the NYX HD concealer and I'm in the shade 05 which is also medium so in concealer I always like to go one shade lighter than my skin tone so it looks really nice under here this side this here and the center of your face is supposed to be lighter than the rest of your face um, so always go like one shade lighter for concealer if you need to conceal any uh, dark spots um, redness anything like that you might want to look into the color correcting concealers because the colors each color has a different purpose I will leave it down below if you want to know so for this video I'm just going to be using my HD NYX concealer now for high ends I have two that I really like one of them is from Tarte, which is the Maracuja Creaseless um, Concealer. And the other one is the Kat Von D, which looks like this. And it's also the Locket Tattoo Concealer. I'm in the shade Medium in this one. And this one is also Medium as well. So if you need any good concealers, I do recommend this one more than this one. The Tarte, it says Creaseless, but it does crease under the eye pretty quickly if you're not quick with the um, setting powder but this one does not crease at all like you can put a really small amount a little goes a long way with this concealer um, same goes with this one a little goes a long way but this one does crease a little bit under my eyes but either way I still love both so now what I like to do 
is I like to apply the concealer in a triangle. So what I like to do is I like to just bring it down and just keep bringing it down. You don't want to swipe, just keep doing this. At least this is what I like to do. And then leave it. And it looks like that. You can also conceal any redness, like I have some redness here. So I conceal that. You can also highlight with this concealer, which is awesome. Um, so I'm going to do this here and the bridge of my nose. So I'm going to take the Beauty Blender again, spray it one more time. And then I'm going to push in the product into my skin. So it should look something like this now. Now what I like to do after I apply my foundation and concealer, I go in with a translucent powder. This one's the Stay Matte by uh, Rimmel, which looks like this. And I'm going to take my e.l.f. Mineral Powder and I'm going to set my under eye with this and the center of my face. And again, you want to pat the powder in. And this also mattifies the skin, so if you're oily, this powder is the best at doing that. So at this point, you're basically done with your face. Um, I'm also going to show you how to cover up any blemishes that you might have. I wasn't planning to do this, but because I already have them out and it's out in the open, <laughs> I'm just going to give you a quick tip on what to do and... Um, hopefully this works for you guys it works for me so first I'm gonna take my NYX above and beyond concealer this is a very um, full concealer full coverage I'm gonna take a small concealer brush like this this one is from elf and I am going to cover up those uh, blemishes that we have going on. Again, you just want to pat the concealer on. You don't want to swipe. So, pat, pat, pat. And make sure you're doing this with a very clean brush because you don't want to get any more bacteria on the blemishes. Okay, after you have that done, you want to take your beauty blender, blender spray with some setting spray, and you're going to apply a little bit of foundation on the back of the on the back of the hand. You're gonna pick it up from the back of your hand with the beauty blender, and you're gonna pounce it onto the blemish.
after that's done you want to go back with your um, setting brush take some powder so it doesn't slide off your skin and just set wherever you apply the foundation so after that's done then you're good to go after this I like to do my eyes and for that I will have a whole other video I will be having more um, tutorials coming for you guys I know I've been a little behind but I had to leave the country last minute and I had I'm surprised I even packed in like two days but yeah I hope you all enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe follow me on Instagram which is face by Denise and I will see you in my next video bye